So for this tutorial, I laid down a kick and a bass. And now we're going to add a hi-hat. For this tutorial, I will pick an open hi-hat from a 909. And it will be a rolling hi-hat. Uh, one thing that I always do is make sure the swing is on. So if I put it to 0%, you'll hear that it's really robotic and static. But once you increase the swing, it gets a little more groove. So you have to explore uh, this for yourself and find out uh, which percentage you like. All right. And then we're going to open up this settings window for the sample. And over here, we have the envelope control and put down everything except for the DK. And then turn it down until you get uh, a good spot for your hi-hat. Little too short. Like this one. Uh, over here you have a tension knob um, which changes the curve, as you can see right here. So I like this curve. But if you want to get rid of that uh, ticky uh, sound, then you can give it a little bit of a tick. like this. All right, and then we are going to link the DK to a Fruity Peak controller. So let's first link this to a new mixer track. And then we open up a Peak controller. And then right click on the DK, link to controller. And then at the internal controller, you will find the Peak controller right here. Link it to the LFO. And now we get a signal, as you can see right here. All right, then here we have the base, and this sets the starting point of the DK. So as you can see, this is changing when I turn this knob. So I'd like to let it start very short. And then this knob sets the amount of the LFO and it sets the maximum amount of the DK. As you can see right here. So in, the, for, in this case, I don't want to overdo it. So I, I just want a little bit of movement. So here's fine with me. Then over here you have the tension knob, which changes the curve of the LFO. Right, I'll set it to 0% right now. And then over here, you have different kind of shapes. And the one that I find interesting is the random, which sets uh, different shapes every time, randomly. So increase the speed so we can hear what it does. Set it to two.
every time you hear the hi-hats, it's sounding completely different. So that's what I like about the random function. Uh, but of course you can also choose for the basic waveforms. And you can sync it with the speed. If you're having trouble uh, getting this to like two or three or four, uh, you can press control and then you can adjust the time more detailed. So just experiment with the settings and I'm sure you'll find some, uh, some cool ways to create more interesting hi-hats with this. Right, then I'll turn down the P controller for another example. For the other example, you can right click on the amount of DK and then you can click on edit events and then it will open up this window and then you can draw in manually what the DK does. Let me loop this. So with this method, you have a little bit more control on how it sounds in the end. So these were two easy steps to create more interesting hi-hats for your techno tracks. Uh, I hope you find it useful and I'm sure if you're working in another DAW like Ableton or Logic or Reason or whatever, that uh, they have the same functions so you can automate the DK. Let me know your thoughts of this trick and if you have another trick that makes your hi-hats more interesting, uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in another video.